Welcome to my channel SwiftLearn. This tutorial I will show how to use Direct View Cell Click Event in BB.NET Windows Form application with database. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Start Visual Studio. Click New Project. Select the location where you want to save your project. The location is the Bobby.net project tutorial folder. Name the application project. I just uh, named the application is the data grid view cell click underscore project. Click OK. My project is created. Now I just copy the controls from the uh, other tutorial, other project. Just copy this control and paste it here. You can design this form uh, by drag and drop the tool control from the toolbox. Okay, now change the background color of this form. Yes, change the title as well. In this tutorial, I will show. How to use data grid view cell click event? So my title is data grid view cell click event <coughs> tutorial. Okay. Now this is the database group tutorial DB expand the database. Expand the table. At the table is the info tab. Show the table data. This is the data in the table. I'll go to the form load event, double click in the form uh, and uh, just uh, go to the form load event. Now I'm gonna load the data in data grid view. In that case, first of all, I have to connect with the database. So using con as SQL connection, oh, new SQL connection, you should import uh, uh, just click. Yes, import system the data to the SQL client. Now connection string. Just right click in the database, server explorer property, select the connection string, select all, yes, copy, and just paste the double quotation in, into the double quotation. Okay. Now uh, the connection is done. Now it's connected to the database. So now using CMD as SQL command. My SQL command is I am just writing the code to load data in the data grid view. So select star from my table name is user info tab. User info underscore tab. All the data in user info tab will load in the data grid view. So now using DA as SQL data adapter. Okay. Now da dot select command equal to cmd using dd as new data table da dot fill in the data adapter uh, all the command will load the data in the data table dt data will be under data source equal to dt okay now it's done. I just write this code in the form load event and so now it's a run it bugging it's uh, just loaded all the data in the data grid view okay now click the data grid view and go to the event yes this is the event icon even just double click in the cell click oh, oh yes now I am just writing the code uh, in the data, data grid view cell click and when, when uh, I will click on the cell, any cell of this data grid view it will work. So dim selected gr, gr, gr grid view row as data grid view row. Selected gr equal to data grid view row e dot row index. Yes, now textbox one dot text equal to selected gr dot cell cell this is column index 0 0 is column index I mean ID 0 dot value now just debug for testing yes select yes 
the ID index 0 column index 0 will uh, load in the text box okay displaying the text box the 0 1 2 its column index and text box 1 is for ID 0 text box 2 text box 3 uh, ID and the third index is uh, CD as combo box 1 and it is text box 4 uh, text is ready button and ready button 1 and 2 okay now combo box 1 dot text equal to selected gr dot cell 3 dot value this is the index of this uh, uh, CD is in combo box okay now uh, text box 4 dot text equal to selected gr dot cells 4 dot value is for for age now finally radio button it's a bit uh, it's not uh, same as text box and combo box because it's uh, the boolean type so if selected gr dot cell 5 dot value i mean if sex is male then radio button 1 dot checked equal to true else i mean if not male i mean if female then radio button 2 dot checked equal to true okay now just select christina sex is female age 25 all the value displayed yes it's working perfectly this is the data grid view cell click event what i have said you now i'm gonna show how to delete the record and how to uh, use data grid view cell click event with database uh, with database in that case first of all i am just declaring the variable dim id as selected gr dot cell 0 i mean id index 0 i this is the connection i am just uh, copy the connection sql connection now sql command using cmd as sql command equal to new sql command sql command is delete user info tab user info underscore tab where id equal to single quotation double quotation and the person this is the syntax of the baby donor id okay now using da as new sql data adapter da dot select command equal to cmd okay cmd dot execute non execute non query used to insert update or delete operation just select select yes it's the oh sorry execute non query connection property has not me to initialize i have to initialize the connection property oh sorry sometimes i keep the error uh, so that you can understand when it's a uh, happened any error how to resolve this error how to fix this bug okay con that i uh, just initialized it now con that open you can open the connection con that open and finally after after performing the delete operation then display the contact close okay now reload select to get result in a stand please just get a method and call the method in the cell click event it's deleted successfully but it's not uh, displaying rather than standly in that case uh, i have to create a method and finally I call this method in the data grid will cell click event in that case uh, my method is a private sub bind grid what the uh, code i have written in the form load event i just uh, move this code in the uh, method and then i will uh, call this method in the form load event and data grid will cell click event as well okay now bind grid in the form load event bind grid and i just call this ma same method in the data grid view cell click so that i can uh, get the result instantly after performing the uh, operation in the data grid view cell click event okay delete is uh, it's a confidential and it's uh, if you uh, yeah, 
add a confirm message to add an unexpected click because if you click unexpected in that data it will uh, data it will any cell then it if it's uh, deleted without any confirm message then it may uh, fall in a, a problem so add a confirm message to do add confirm message just deem confirmation equal to message box dot show are you sure to delete this is the message and the message the title is delete message yes no message okay now if confirmation equal to dialog result dot yes then it will perform this operation it's in div just uh, cut uh, i mean move this in div in the uh, end using okay now if you click yes then it will perform this operation else it will not perform this operation just you select yes are you sure to delete no no it's not deleted are you sure to delete yes yes it's deleted again no 